Time now to show you this morning's headlines from around the globe. Britain's Telegraph says two workers who should have been in the crane that was hit by a helicopter yesterday are alive because they overslept. The helicopter hit that construction crane during the morning rush hour in London. We showed you that story yesterday. The pilot and a person on the ground were killed. One of the crane workers said it was the first time he was late to work in three years. The Financial Times says J.P. Morgan Chase's chairman is taking a hit for last year's big trading mistake. The bank lost $6 billion in the trading debacle. Chairman Jamie Dimon has had his 2012 bonus cut in half. An internal report pins most of the blame on other executives and traders. The Wall Street Journal says drought is triggering a water fight by Texas officials. The Supreme Court has agreed to take up that state's dispute with Oklahoma over its share of the Red River, which runs between the two states. Texas also wants the court to hear a lawsuit against New Mexico over the water from the Rio Grande. The New York Times says the government approved a new type of flu vaccine yesterday. It could be produced much faster in the event of a pandemic. It's made with a process that does not require the virus to be grown in chicken eggs. And the New York Post says size matters when it comes to footlong sandwiches. The newspaper recently bought seven of Subway's $5 footlongs, measured them, and found four of the seven sandwiches were only 11 inches long. Okay, I'll go there. I'm not going there. <laughs> Size always matters. Yeah. About anything. About anything. USA Today finds only a handful of big donors are contributing to President Obama's second inauguration. 463 people gave $50,000 or more in 2009. Only a dozen of them are on this year's list of benefactors.